I don't feel like doing gymnastics anymore, but I still want to compete and don't want to lose my friends. I want to quit, but I still don't. What should I do? One step ahead and we will bring you down. What's up guys, it's Alize, welcome back to my channel. On today's video, we are going to be talking about... I'll give you my feedback, and if you guys are new to my channel, and you want to see my path as a younger gymnast, make sure to hit the bell notification icon so you guys don't miss a thing. Okay, I have a few... Well, I'm just going to talk about the main questions on here. Oh yeah, and I was hanging out with my friend today. Oh yeah, and don't mind my like clothes because I'm about to go to sleep. I got Pura Vida, Pura Vida bracelets. I was going to order them off of the actual website. They were like really expensive and then it would just take a longer time for them to get shipped here. So I just bought them. If you can't see it, it's gray and it has a rose gold wave and then this one is like a tan with like a um, an anchor on it. So that's pretty cool. Okay, anyways. Back to the subject. All right, so Animal Jam Sisters Forever um, asked, Alize, I need your opinion and advice. I don't like doing gymnastics anymore, but I still wanna compete and don't wanna lose my friends. I kinda wanna quit, but I don't. I don't know what to do. I'm stressing out so much, what should I do? I have a few things, 10 reasons why you might want to quit. Well, here is a fun fact. Uh, people usually quit sports when they're around like the age of 13, so. In fact, 70% stop playing at the age of 13. The first reason is burnout. This seems to be happening more and more as parents push, prod, and try to keep their kids busy, busy, busy. Number dose. Embarrassment. Maybe you, um, maybe your child doesn't play enough or at all, or maybe he doesn't, he or she doesn't like making mistakes in front of a bunch of people. Like for any sport, but like say gymnastics, like everyone messes up in gymnastics, like every single day, everybody makes mistakes. If you feel like you're too embarrassed to like even do an easy skill and you feel like it's, it's not good enough, what I say, is to keep working on that skill and getting it better, but like if it's still not getting better, like you might feel embarrassed and stuff, so I totally get that. <laughs> Number three is coach frustration. It could be that your athlete doesn't like the coach, feels like he or she cannot um, please him or her, or does not understand what the coaches expect of him, or maybe the coach is showing favoritism. This actually happens a lot, especially in gymnastics. A lot of coaches have favorites, and I totally get that. Number four is team dislike. It's pretty common to dislike one or two or three players on a team, but your child may be on a team where he, f he or she feels like a total outsider. Number five is no fun. Your child does not like the sport or they don't like the hard work involved. Number six is lack of improvement. Part of the fun in sports is seeing progress. Maybe your child has a coach who is not really helping him or she, she, she or him. Wait, she or him? Sorry, that did not sound right. Her or him. Nobody likes to keep working at something when they don't feel like they're getting better at all. Number seven is too much pressure. Your young athlete may feel stressed because he or she is under pressure to perform from you, the coach, or his or her team. Number eight, unrealistic expectations. Your child may have started a sport with huge expectations, like I'm gonna be a star, I will get attention from my peers and teachers, I'll be a jock, or a cool kid. Then reality sets in and sometimes really sucks. Number nine is criticism. I sit in the stands too long enough 
and you'll know that people can be very critical of athletes on the field. Parents can be so harsh on kids who make a bad pass or drop a ball or make a mental error. And the last but not least, other interests. Maybe your child would rather try music or drama. Maybe he wants, he or she wants to try a different sport. When kids get to high school, they often give up sports for a job and gain more independence. So those are all 10 of them. So for Animal Gym Sisters, so I'll read her comment over again. Alize, I need your opinion and advice. I don't feel like doing gymnastics anymore, but I still want to compete and don't want to lose my friends. I kind of want to quit, but I don't. I don't know what to do. I'm stressing out so much. What should I do? Any of these reasons, like on the one through 10. Okay, well, all right, listen to me, okay? If you still feel like you want to compete and you don't want to lose your friends, you should definitely keep thinking about it more. Say like you're in level four and you're really in the mood, like you really, really, really want to do gymnastics, but like your friends, like you're at the gym right now, but you're, all of your friends are hanging out and like you're the only one that's not hanging out with them. That could be a reason why that you want to quit, but you probably shouldn't quit if you still want to compete because competing is like the biggest thing in gymnastics and I know like a lot of people like don't like competing and like if you really love competing then I feel like you should still stay in the sport and just keep trying and then if you still don't like it like if you change your mind then you should obviously talk to a coach or your parent about this situation and you know decide whether you want to do it or not and then go on from there but what I what I feel right now is that you should try to keep like pushing towards that and you know get ready for like competing and stuff so yeah oh sorry I read the wrong thing so Sav Savina Savant Savina do she commented right um, below her she said something really cool she said I know I'm not Alize but I recommend taking Oh, talking to your coach, then your parents, and see if you can take a month off and see how you like it. Oh yeah, that's another thing what you can do is take a break off of gymnastics and see if you're still missing the sport, then you should obviously still keep, you know, going for it. But if you like take the two to a month off, does that sound right? Two weeks to a month off, then and you're like not missing it at all and you're like having the best time of your life you should obviously like talk to your parents and your coaches again and finally decide on what you think of like your final opinions i guess you have free free will you have freedom this is a free world you know so you kind of it's like a choice so you get to pick like whatever you want you know what i mean like you have free will so keep that in mind i feel like that's like a really good advice is to just like take a break if you really need to think about it a little bit more and then you know do your decisions so those are my thoughts for you if you guys have any other tips comment them in the comments down below and shout out to the comment winner if you guys want to be the next comment winner, comment down below a great tip if you feel like you're quitting. No, mm, that's too much. If you guys want to be the next comment winner, comment down your second favorite sport in the comments down below. And I'll see you guys later. Bye. It's really stressful. Like even in fifth grade, fifth grade was the worst. Fifth grade, I literally went to bed at 2 a.m., no joke. And 
样子，嗯